Ray Kroc once stated, if you believe in something very, very hard, surely you will never fail. Hello, Professor Bridge. My name is Aldi, and in the next 8 to 10 minutes, I'll be presenting about McDonald's organization development and strategic planning. So I'm going to start with McDonald company background. So McDonald is founded in 1950 in San Bernardino, California. They were founded by the McDonald brothers who invented the speedy service system. It was a revolutionary system at that period of time because fat, fast food in the 1950s, they're not actually fast. They have waiters and cashier and requires time before the customer can get their food. The McDonald brothers find a way to speed up the system where they pre-cook the meal and serve it directly. It was revolutionary at the time and one of the traveling salesmen named Ray Kroc, who sold them milkshake makers that can make milkshake up to eight times in one go, found it, find, find them very interesting and the concept to be very marketable. So when the time comes, Ray Kroc decided to join in and become a franchisee agent, and they, he developed McDonald's into all across the state's borders. Finally, in 1961, after very, very successful expanding, he decided to buy McDonald from the McDonald brothers. Today, McDonald's has expanded over 118 countries with 38,000 restaurants. So moving on, organizational development. So what is organizational development? Organizational development as a critical science-based process that helps organizations build their capacity to change and achieve greater effectiveness by developing, improving, and reinforcing process, strategies, and structure. So what is McDonald's organizational development? So McDonald's organizational development is based on their growth strategies, which can be categorized as product development, market penetration, and desertification. So McDonald is very aggressive on market penetration, as I will display in their SWOT analysis after this. And McDonald's recently have tried to diversify their products. So McDonald's normally only serve restaurants food, but they have signed a new deal with uh, Walmart, Costco, and Target to explore opportunities to sell my coffee products such as coffee in public goods. And the product development is pretty much how McDonald's wanted to develop more products such as adding desertification in the Big Mac so that they can fulfill the mission statement of providing delicious food but adding vibrance and new taste to the customers. So moving on, SWOT analysis, the strength. As you all know, McDonald's is internationally recognized by the name, large network of business location, and high consistency of goods service based on standardized process. The weakness is insignificant degree of vertical integration, limitable characteristics of process, of food and beverage products, and limited product design flexibility that comes with standardization. And opportunities and threat is linked to the supply chain, where in opportunities like taking over some supply chain can help with the liability on the supply itself, and threats or aggressive competition with other fast food firms such as Wendy's, KFC, who have copied paste the exact same system and use it to their own advantage. So this is the balance scorecard that I have made. And as we can see here, some of these are described in the market, penet penet market penetration, such as uh, their financial goals of decreasing costs by 1%, which sounds very small, but as a company as big as McDonald's and inflation coming up, every single year, decreasing 1% is a significant part. So moving on, strategic planning. So what is strategic planning? Strategic planning is described as a process in which an organization leaders identify their organization, organizational objective and goals and define their vision for the future. So it's more to the vision and mission statement. So McDonald's mission statement. So it's stated in their website that McDonald's mission statement is to make delicious feel good moments easy for everyone, which after doing further research, it can actually be broken down into four parts, which is delicious food and bread, which to provide delicious food and beverage, good experiences, good experiences, accessibility, and global market reach. So from that on, I was able to found, do a lot of research and found their three-year goal plan, which is focused on digital delivery and drive-through, one of the three in the 2023, this year, 2044 is to improve and change up a lot of burgers and planning to commit more to welfare, and by 2025, they want to be more sustainable by 100% packaging will be renewables and recyclable and reduce toxic in packaging. So this is also the organizational structure of McDonald's, which is a divisional structure where they are very, very, they're trying to make it flatter where some of the 
parts only answer to one and they answer to CEO straight up. So they're trying to make it as simple as possible despite McDonald's having very big international chain. So the freight integration. So McDonald's, according to Genesis 97, now be fruitful and multiply and repopulate the earth. So what McDonald's has been doing is constant growth. Never stop any process of growing despite being the second most valuable uh, brand in the world just behind Starbucks in the fast food industries. And it just reminds me of Genesis 97, now be fruitful and multiply and repopulate the earth. Which means that McDonald's indirectly, even though not sharing the gospel, are doing God's work because they are being fruitful, they multiply across the world and repopulate the earth. So indirectly, by doing so, the constant growth strategy, the organizational development and the strategic plan of keep on growing and growing and growing have fulfilled one of the gospel, which is Genesis 97 to fulfill the role with McDonald, pretty much. But what is connected to the next one is Matthew 28, 18 to 20. When Jesus said to his followers, all authority in heaven and on earth shall be given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to, be, to obey everything that I have commanded you. So what I remember about when I read this, uh, Bible first. I remember how McDonald, in a, in an indirect way, or sh are sharing the gospel by pretty much sharing the values of American freedom. Like McDonald indirectly proposed, share, teach the employees and customer about the freedom and the free society that are based on all American foundations. Even though they are not necessarily campaigning through it, but through their vision and mission and their basic. American company foundation they have been doing so such as in Indonesia um, by opening more McDonald's they also better live like they actually increase the standard of living of a lot of employees and people in Indonesia and last but not least my uh, fire integration for McDonald's is at Hebrew 6 1 therefore let us move beyond the elementary teaching about Christ and be taken forward to maturity not laying down the foundation of repentance from acts that led to death and of faith of God so what connects this passage with McDonald is that when I first read about their organization development and strategic planning, is that in a way their goal is not to only benefit financially, which all business goal is to benefit financially to make a profit. There are no business that want to have goals to make a loss or only break even unless it's non profit. But besides that, McDonald's also want to increase and better their customers and their employees trying to increase the standard of living, like what I said before. And the constant learning of McDonald's trying to improve and trying to get better on that area and the other areas are the ones that lead me to this because they are less beyond the elementary teaching of Christ. So they wanted to learn beyond it, keep on evolving, keep on improving as Ray Kroc once stated, if your business is not keep on evolving, keep on developing, no matter how big it is, then that is not a business, that business is gonna die. So when I remember of this first, I compared with McDonald's constant growth strategy no matter what, no matter how big they are, they still want to get bigger, better, more efficient, more revenue, and be uh, create better standard of living and economy in the other countries and this country. So in conclusion, McDonald's organization development strategy of constant growth and their three-year strategic planning of trying to be more sustainable have led me to believe that McDonald's have laid a very strong foundation and it's very important to a lot of countries in the world economically. Not to mention, they're also doing God's work by spreading the idea of free society and American freedom through their restaurants everywhere in the world by also increasing the standard of living of people that are working there. I hope that you learned something from my presentation today, Professor Bridge. Thank you for the opportunity and have a nice day.